G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and this is probably the coolest announcement video I've ever had to make. This is Swivel. It's the free Swift to Video Converter tool from Newgrounds and it was released today. Now I just want to kind of go over the experience I've had with Swift to Video programs in the past. I've used heaps, dozens of them, in trying to find the best one. And in the past, I, I tried them all because I wanted to find the one that I could use for client work, uh, putting videos on YouTube, converting all my animations into something, you know, tangible and easier to, to kind of manipulate. And there was nothing really that worked well. There were one or two that I liked and there was one that I eventually settled on and I paid for it because they charge you because otherwise they do the whole free version and use their watermarks. So I paid about 50 bucks and it's done okay. It's held up over the last couple of years, but it doesn't handle ActionScript 3 vCams. There are always a little bit of frame droppage, especially when there's like high intensity in the flash, like lots of filters and all that stuff. This, there's no problem. This is just like, mint and it's completely free. I just want to show you how easy and simple this is to use. Before I do, I just want to let you know you can get this by clicking the link in the description um, and you need to tell people about this. This is because this is free, because this is so awesome and it's just out, word needs to get out how amazing this is. I'm going to show you how simple it is to use. I'm going to hit add to input my Swift. I'm going to do the post roll which is the thing I have at the end of my videos. So you can see I'm gonna just use the default frame range, which is the start to the finish. So I can manually change the numbers of that or I can manually start and stop the recording of it. Full render quality, bitmap smoothing on. I'm gonna go across to video. I can change my video codec settings to MPEG-2 to QuickTime to Windows Media, all that stuff. Change my video size, scale mode, uh, transparent background, up the bitrate if I want to, but for now I'm just going to keep everything at default because the default's pretty good. And audio, you have the option to record muted, so have a video without any audio, to use the, the audio from the Swift itself or use an external audio track and have that sync it with the Swift. Um, the other thing too is your usual stuff, selecting the codec, uh, stereo, mono, everything like that. So I'm just going to keep it default because that's all I need. And then overlay, you also get the option to add a watermark if you want that. I don't need that, but it's pretty cool that they give you that as well. And it's ready to go. I, I have not changed any settings. I showed you what they are, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. All right, so all I do, hit convert, and look at that. It's rendering right in front of me. This is completely lossless. This is just like, I can't even explain how cool that is. I've used so many Swift to video programs, I ended up paying for one twice because when I refought on my computer, I had to reinstall it. And, uh, and it still had little bumps and glitches. This is just completely lossless. You need to tell people about this. You need to share it. People need to see this video, know where to get it. Click the link in the description and... There you go, done. Beautiful ready to check out. I want to just show you how awesome that video conversion is by playing you the video right now. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. You can download the reference files from this tutorial by clicking the link in the description. And remember to share any art, animation or game you make on Newgrounds.com. Until next time, see you later.